an aluminum skeleton serves as the bones of the beast in an effort to keep things light, and to that end, the factory used the engine as a stressed member to eliminate an entire section of the down tube, cradle area. Rake and trail are still under wraps, as are the rest of the critical metrics such as seat height and wheelbase length, so we are left with naught but speculation for the time being. What we do know is that this pair will ride on a set of inverted, 41mm stems and monoshock with adjustable preload and rebound damping across the board except for the front of the GT which comes with the full trinity of adjustments. Needless to say, this gives the Tracer siblings a flexibility that should appeal to those facing long hauls in the saddle. Cast 17 inch rims now to 120 70 hoop up front and a 180 55 out back to round out the rolling chassis with a longer swing arm that is meant to improve the sensation of acceleration when you get twisty with it. While overall weight is as yet unknown, we do know that Yamaha threw on a pair of 298mm discs up front with a 245mm in back and ABS protection all around. So you probably have plenty of brakes there to haul it down in a hurry when you need to. TBD, but if I had to guess, I'd call it something around the $11k mark. The FJ09 was $10,699 in 2017 so I figure at least that much and probably a little more for the Tracer 900. Tack on maybe another grand for the GT.